How would you like to get your very own, perhaps first shiny alpha Pokemon caught by your own hands in only 10 to 15 minutes? Well, keep watching because there are now tools that let you do so very easily. And I'm going to give you a quick rundown on how to do so. Step number one, go to the description of this video, open the PLA MMO Checker website, keep that open in one of your tabs. Number two, download the program, which is also linked below, should be right underneath the website link. Then once that's downloaded, extract those files into a folder on your desktop. Step number three, open up that new folder you just made and create a new folder inside it and call it mons. This might all sound very complicated, but I'm going to make it as easy as possible. Once you understand it, you can get as many shiny alphas as you'd want. And finally, you got to join the Shiny Hunters Anonymous Discord server, also linked below. Yeah, this may seem a bit extreme just to shiny hunt, but believe me, it'll save you hundreds of hours. All right, then head over to Pokemon Legends Arceus. Goodbye, gang. And basically what you want to do, go into your pastures and make sure your first pasture is completely empty. Again, this probably doesn't make any sense but down the track you'll see why. All right, then the next step is to find a massive mass outbreak. I've got one in Alabaster Icelands. Ooh, what if I can get shiny alpha Zoroark? That'll be actually insane. Once you teleport to a place with a massive mass outbreak, save your game. Actually, before that, make sure autosave is turned off. If it's enabled, this will not work. So turn off autosave and save the second you hit the campsite. All right, then you want to talk to her. Feed the Munchlax so you can see what are in the outbreaks. And here we- Oh, Zoroark. Okay, this is actually perfect. So basically, you're looking for outbreaks with the stars that'll have a second outbreak after it. And unfortunately, Unfortunately, this will only work on aggressive Pokemon. It'll only work on the Pokemon that get aggro when they see you and then start attacking you. Luckily for me, Zoroa is one of them. So if you use a berry and see that either none of the outbreaks have a star or the starred Pokemon are not aggressive Pokemon, restart the game and find a new massive mass outbreak. All right, let's make our way to this Zoroa. Okay, I'm actually so hyped at Zoroa. If it spawns Alpha Zoroa after this, I'm, oh, I'm gonna get a shiny Alpha Zoroa. I'm actually so hyped. All right, you're gonna wanna bring smoke bombs just to help you, especially in areas like this with no grass. All right, wait, before I start catching, I'll explain this. Step number one after reaching the outbreak, the first four Pokemon you see there, you have to catch back to back. The first four Pokemon you catch have to be the first four that spawned. So if you catch a Zoroa and a new one spawns and you catch that new spawned Zoroa before the initial four that started there, this will not work. You need your first four catches to be the exact first four that are here right there. So we'll do that real quick. Smoke bomb this area up. So there's one. If they escape, make sure you know which one's escaped before the new ones spawn. Or, okay, we call that one. Uh, okay, the second one escaped. The third one caught. This one's also the fourth one. And so these new ones that spawned, I cannot catch them. Wait, does this fourth one catch? Yep, the fourth one caught. Okay, it's just the second one that, es that escaped. So I cannot catch these respawns until I catch that second one that escaped. Just make sure the first four you catch are the first four that were there. It escaped and saw me. Great. Just make sure you don't lose track of which ones you need to catch. All right, they're all aggro on me now, but as long as we catch the second one, we're good. Good, okay. The first four we caught were the first four that were there. Let's just escape so they stop aggroing. All right, next step. Now we just freely catch them. We catch the rest of the Zorua in the outbreak, and then we catch the rest of the Pokemon in the second outbreak. We know it's going to have a second outbreak because it has a star. I'm hoping they're Alpha Zoroark. Yep, just catch them all. Easy peasy. All right, we caught them all in the first outbreak. What's going to be in the second outbreak? Please be... Oh, <gasps> yes! Okay. Oh, that is amazing. Alpha Zoroark outbreak, which means I'm going to get a shiny Alpha Zoroark. All right, so yeah, just catch everyone in the second outbreak as well. It's a bit annoying if they see you. Just run away, come back. <gasps> it might take a while, especially if they're trying to kill you. This is why you got to bring smoke bombs. There's literally nowhere for me to hide. Ooh. Okay, this is just not going well. I'm literally just a kid. I'm getting attacked by double the human size fox wolves. It'll be worth it for that shiny though. This has taken so long that the blizzard for the outbreaks has stopped. Luckily, there's only one left and he's still here. Come on. Are you kidding? Finally, that took, okay, that took like five minutes more than it should have. All right, now we report back home. We report to Lavington and now take note of the screen. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine Zoroark and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven Alpha Zoroark. Okay, now let's move over to this website. This is the one I told you to open earlier. Click on PLA Seed Checker, Input Seed, leave that empty for now. Shiny Rolls. Um, I'm assuming most of you are gonna have the Shiny Charm if you're watching this video. So click Shiny Charm. If not, hopefully you know what this means. So on this, we choose how many Pokemon spawned in the first wave. We got nine Zoroark. Bonus round, tick that. 
that just means the second wave in the outbreak in which we got seven so that's right as well the first round pokemon was zorua the one next to it just means it's hasuian that doesn't matter and the bonus round was not alpha zorua it was not regular zoroark it was alpha zoroark so make sure you get the right one all right now that that's done go back to the game come back to jubilee village and now we're going to do a trade with a bot so you will need nintendo switch online for this choose someone far away all right we're on the screen now it's fine now we go to the discord server in the shiny hunters anonymous server we make our way down to lavington's lab and choose any one of these bots and basically i'll explain what happens before i actually do it because it, it goes quite fast so in here we're gonna write dollar sign dump once we enter it this spot will dm me a trade code we will then put that trade code into here of course when the trade starts we should be in our first box with the first four zoroa we call in the first four slots and basically it'll be scanning those first four zoroa so whatever the cursor is on like to choose a pokemon to trade we're not actually going to choose anything we're just going to highlight over the, the four zorua we caught at the beginning of the outbreak and this one will scan those zorua this sounds very complicated i know but trust me it, it's not that bad and once it scans the zorua it'll give it'll give us a file for all four of those zorua let me demonstrate it's hard to explain so in here we do hashtag dump like that i have now got a dm from the bot so there is our trade code one four one three three and you'll notice down here it also says what their name will be so you know you're trading with the right person mahogany all right so we're starting the trade now and we found mahogany okay we're scanning the first zora well right now and look on here it is scanned it there's a file i click right to move to the next zorowak there's a new file i click right again it just scanned the third one i scan right i uh, press right again and it scanned the fourth Zorua. The bot then ends the trade on its own. Those first four Zorua were scanned and we restart our game, which will send us all the way back before we even started catching the Zorua. While we wait for that, we then go to download the four files. Now go to your downloads, here are the four files. And then in that folder you made earlier at the beginning of the video, put these four files in that mons folder you created. Perfect. Now it's time to run the app that'll tell us how to get our shiny Zorua. We then need to start the application. If nothing happens when you try to open it, you will have to download something. I can't remember what it was. I'll link it in the description don't worry it's completely safe it's like a microsoft thing you can't really get much safer than that anyway now we open the app and it's now looking for our seed this will use a bit of cpu power it might take a minute but it's scanning those four zorua to see which one has a seed to tell us how to get shinies it's complicated you don't really have to understand it you just got to know how to do it all right awesome it found the seed we copy that close this close this go into the checker website put in the seed and now check there we are shiny alpha zorua these are all the different ways we can get one through that outbreak make sure shiny only and alpha only is ticked so you can get shiny and alpha if your second outbreak weren't alpha weren't all alpha pokemon you probably won't have a shiny alpha that you can get so if you're looking for shiny alphas you want the second outbreak to spawn be entirely alphas so anyway this looks like gibberish to you all right this is an easy one to do i'm going to explain this as we go let's go back to legends arceus all right we're back at the zoro actually let's do this one i reckon this will help you understand better so these numbers let's just call them tasks so our first task is a number three basically what that means is how many Zorua we have to get rid of at once. So how do we get three Zorua gone at once? Well, we start a battle with them and kill three of them. Then we leave the battle. Three Zorua gone in one task. The next task is a one. A one just means catch the Zorua. To get rid of one Zorua, you just need to catch one. If it said two, you'd go on a battle and kill two of them, then run. If it says four, engage in battle with all four of them and kill them all in one battle. If you do anything wrong, it'll mess up. So let me show you. So our first task is three. Let's go to the game and engage in battle. It doesn't matter if all four try to fight me at once. Just once we kill three of them, we leave the battle. Goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye. We can start to run now because after that, we'll kill all three of them. Done. We got rid of three Zorua in one task. Let's go back. So we got one and then we got a one for the next two tasks. That just means we catch one, then we catch another one. Easy. So let's just get you and you. Doesn't matter which ones you catch, any is fine. Done, we caught two of them. Now the next one might be a bit confusing, we're done the blue task. Now we're onto the revisits. So yeah, kind of confusing. Don't really know why this works and getting a shiny, but it just does. So basically this number is how many Zorua we want left on the field in the outbreak. So it's a one. We only want one Zorua remaining. It's not the whole thing, but basically the first step for this task. So there's still four on the field. We just got to catch them until there's only one left. No more are respawning after catching. Good. Cool. That is the last Zorua there in the first outbreak. Cool. So it's a revisit, which means we have to 
leave this outbreak area and then come back with only one Zora world remaining. So let's do that. It's got to be far away. This should be far enough. We leave and then we go straight back. I don't know how this affects anything. It just does. And we're basically done now. We have revisited with one Zora world left and now we catch it. So if it said like three instead of one, you do these first tasks, catch the remaining Zora world until there are only three left. You would leave, come back. And because it's a three, and not a one, you would engage in a battle and kill all three of them at once. Same rules apply from the first one. But there's only one Zorua here, so we just need to catch it. And then we're done, because when it says bonus in its spawn, British, this website's British. Bonus in its spawn two means that the second Alpha Zoroark that spawns will be shiny. If it says bonus path instead of bonus in its spawn, bonus path one just means catch one and then the one that spawns after the one you caught will be shiny. But ours will be shiny in the first four that spawn, the second one to be specific after we catch this final Zoroark. This might still be confusing to you, Give it a try. If it doesn't work, these nuts. I know it's pretty confusing, but I mean, hey, alpha shinies are amazing. Now it should be the second one, please. Oh, let's go. <gasps> He's kind of hidden, but there it is. A shiny alpha Zoroark. And now they're angry. Go, get him. Oh, look at that. That is, oh, that's my. That's one of my first shiny alphas. That's got to be the coolest shiny alpha ever. Look at that. But yeah, that's basically it. You might fail on your first few attempts in trying this method. I did. I failed quite a few times, actually. But once you understand it, once you know what you're doing, you can do it very quickly and get shiny alphas in like 10 minutes. It's crazy. This also works for non-alphas as well. But I mean, why would you want a regular over an alpha? They have just killed my thing. I hope I can catch it. But yeah, that's basically it. It's crazy that there's a way you can manipulate the game to get a shiny alpha. I, okay, they're just killing me. But yeah, hope this helped. Let me know what shiny alphas you've got from this method. And thank you for watching.